So for the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be going to Madrid to train at the Diagonal Paddle Academy out in Spain. And I know that so many players in our community wonder what it's like to train in Spain. So I thought I'd bring you along for my journey. The program itself is gonna be pretty intense. It's gonna be around four hours of paddle training per day and one to two hours of fitness every day. So I'm getting ready to have a really hard training experience. My goals for going out there are one, to play with better paddle players. So professional paddle players, get a feeling for what that level was like and hopefully improve my own level. The second is to improve my fitness, particularly my paddle specific fitness. And three is to play competitive matches. So I've lined up some training matches, but I've also got a tournament out there. So hopefully in these next couple of weeks, I'll be able to hit some of those goals. For all you players out there that are interested to know what it's like to train in Spain, hopefully this content will give you some insight into that. And if you do have any questions, do let us know in the comments. But for now, let's head over to Madrid. So when I first arrived in Madrid and the Uber driver dropped me off here in this industrial estate to come and play at the Diagonal Paddle Academy, I wasn't sure if it was the right place, but behind this doorway is a bustling club with really, really good pro players. So come take a look. So here's the cafe where you'll hang out in between sessions, maybe do some work and also grab a bite to eat. What I loved about this club was that the recreational matches were being played alongside the pro academy training and when you've got a club that has this kind of dynamic it just fosters such a positive environment for the paddle community to grow at the club. So before I step on court every time I like to do some mobility work so I get my foam roller out and start to roll some of the main muscle groups. I found as I've got older that I really need to do this otherwise I'll be I'll be feeling it the next day. The other thing I do before I play is some mobility exercises. So I'll warm up the, the back and the rotation. I'll do some dynamic stretches for the lower back and I'll also do some, some hip rotations just to get mobile before getting on court. I'm always asked why I keep a baseball in my bag, but it's actually a really good way to loosen off your shoulder before you play. It can be a bit painful, but it's a great way to, to keep that shoulder loose. And then finally, a couple of band exercises just to get the hips activated. Once I've done the mobility exercises off the court, I like to come on court and do a physical warm-up. This is great just to get the heart rate up, but also to get the body prepared to, to playing straight away. And some of these exercises I, I mix up day to day. I like to use a bit of footwork stuff. I like to get the dynamic exercises in, such as lunges. But essentially, this is just to get me ready when I pick up a racket to get playing. So after we did a quick warm up and a racket warm up on court, we then went into some game situations and some points. And as you can see, the intensity is really, really high from the get go. So I'm, I'm glad I did my, my physical warm up. But the level you can see is, is high. These guys play really well. There's a bit of a, a tennis backhand of the old days coming out, but overall a really, really intense session and you know some great, great points to get started. The one thing that I noticed straight away in Madrid was the length of points that you play. And that's partly because the players defend so well, but it's also because the mentality they have. They're not, they're not tennis players, so they're not trying to rush the points too much. They're, they're looking to build the point, they're looking to structure it, and it's a great way to, to develop your paddle, but also, also your paddle fitness. So for me, it was a great experience to, to get playing such high level points. So that's the first session complete. It was hitting a lot of balls, uh, getting a good rhythm, playing some point situations. I haven't played much this last week, so it was good to get back in the feeling and just get back on court and hit some balls. So I've got about an hour now, and then I'm getting back on court to play another couple of hours with the next group. So what I'll do now is I'm gonna grab a protein shake, have a little bite to eat, and stretch off a little bit, because legs are already feeling a little bit sore after, after that first session. So yeah, they're gonna be feeling even sorer this afternoon. But um, yeah, grab a quick break and get back in court in about an hour. This session was around technique, so going out the basket, working on the rouleau to the fence and the aggressive forehand volley. So I'm teaming up with Manu here, who's the lefty. He's a great player, plays on the World Paddle Tour, so learning a lot from him. But yeah, pushing through this and doing some really good technical work. 
The second exercise we are doing is two aggressive volleys deep and then a vibra to the corner. So the first one is deep, the second one you're trying to get that side glass and then you're going to play an aggressive vibra to maintain the net. What I really like about the training here is it's physical, mental combined and you're working on both. So even though these drills are focusing on technique, so much of this is around being physically able to maintain that intensity over time. But that also involves maintaining a mental focus during all of these drills. And it reminds me so much of when I played in tennis and this was such a big part of, of training tennis was, yes, the technique was really, really important, but just as important as the technique was being able to concentrate for long periods of time when you're tired. And that's when, you know, the, the most important points will be in the match is when you're tired and you have to have that concentration. So just finished up on court, I've done two hours of training and it is absolutely boiling in here. So yeah, sweating a lot, but really, really good for the legs, really good for, for technique and, and game situations. I stepped outside for a moment because it's super loud in there, there's so much paddle going on. And my legs are absolutely killing me already and I've got a fitness session to do. So two sessions in, two paddle sessions, and now for a fitness session. Wish me luck. The gym at the club is just above the course, which is super convenient and it's by no means high tech, but it's perfect if you want to get in there and do some strength work. To warm up before the gym session, I like to do a couple of TheraBand exercises. So the upper body row, just to get the scapula controlled and to get my upper body activated and also some external rotations just for the shoulders. Here are just a number of weighted exercises that I did in this session. So I started with a weighted back extension, which is great for strengthening the lower back and with the plate adds a bit of extra resistance. I also did the upper body row, which is really good for scapula control and also building strength. Weighted calf raise is always a good exercise. It means that you know, you're adding that extra, extra resistance to the calf raise. At the end of the session, it's good to do some stretching just to recover and also so your legs are feeling good the next day. So I like to focus on the quad stretch, I like to do some hip flexor stretches and I also like to stretch out the glutes at the end of the day. Hopefully this gave you some insight into what it's like to train in Spain and if you are interested in more content like this, let us know in the comments. It's been a super productive day on and off the court, so once I've cooled down, I'll head home and get ready to do it all again tomorrow.